AITA for going back on letting my husband adopt my daughter because he cheated? I, 50F, am dying from esophageal cancer. I likely will be entering hospice sometime in 2024, I just want a final holidays at home. My husband James and I have been married three years but have been in a romantic relationship for a total of five years. Besides my 10-year-old daughter Amy, my husband has three kids of his own. My daughter is actually biologically my niece, but I myself adopted her when she was one because her biological dad died from an overdose and my sister had done something horrible for which she is still sitting in prison today, and Amy will be well into adulthood before she gets a shot at parole. But in the eyes of me, everybody else in this life, and I'd like to think the next, Amy is my daughter. And for a while, I was thinking that James would be yet another example of biology, doesn't make a parent. I thought we were a family and that he was completely devoted to me and Amy, just as I was to his kids. We spoke of adoption, and the first time we spoke of it was two years ago. Then I began getting sick and this fell by the wayside. Then two months ago, I found out that James had a one-night stand with a co-worker four years ago. We were having a rough patch and hadn't been sleeping together, true, but he blamed it on being drunk. She later quit without notice. But she decided to find me online and expose him after they wouldn't take her back at the restaurant. I had a feeling that James was hiding something after he stormed off from our fights. Now I'm dying and find myself stuck in therapy with this. He claims he hasn't cheated since and I do not have that suspicion after that period, but don't know what to think anymore. He begged me not to divorce if only so he could take care of me and also for his health insurance. But now all he's been doing is agonizing about adopting Amy. But all I'm thinking about is he had this one night stand, but there must have been flirting beforehand. And he was the taken one, so he should have had the impulse control and respect for his partner. I don't like what that says about his character and feel he isn't as sorry as he ought to have been. During our conversation, he said he loves Amy and that he admits that he cheated, so he's a cheater. But that mistake doesn't take away his care for Amy and her welfare. And said that he deserves any punishments with regards to our marriage, but I'd be punishing Amy because the state would be here the moment I died. I know that if I would have either divorced him or put my energy into therapy. And I have spoken with a lawyer and am considering divorcing him because I know that would have been my first stop if I was still healthy, I don't want to deal with a cheating husband. The fact that he did this makes me worried about whether he'd again let his impulses cloud his better judgment. Whether that would extended to letting an unsuitable partner in because he sees sex and nothing else. James is upset and says that my parents are dead and the only relative I have is on welfare with five kids. But I want to rescind my offer because I don't trust him anymore. Ida? He keeps saying do this for Amy. Update, AITA for going back on letting my husband adopt my daughter because he cheated? I have read a large majority of your comments. Some of you have been very compassionate, but I am also astounded at the amount of people who think that my last act as a good woman is to turn the other cheek and laud a cheating husband. A lot of comments also dismiss me for the sole fact that I am dying, and it seems those are more of a reflection of the commenter's lack of emotional fortitude. I hope they treat their own dying relatives with more introspection. But I am not here to complain, just wanted to give an update. It's only been less than a day, so obviously nothing is definite, but here goes, with regards to my relationship with my husband, I've decided dying or not, I have to stick to my original stance that if I were healthy, we'd likely already be halfway through a divorce because I cannot stand infidelity. I don't know if my previous post makes it clear, but I had been speaking to a lawyer about divorce. As I said in one of my comments, we probably have around $50 to $100 before payday, sometimes our checking accounts are as low as $13. I do thank my husband for allowing me access to our checking, even when it came to seeking legal counsel. I also know that our state has a lot of self-help legal slash legal aid resources. All this is to say, I intend to file for divorce. 
There are also hospice facilities that offer care for people who cannot really afford hospice and divorced or not, that would still probably be me. If things get bad enough, I'm fine with not burdening others and just going to the ER and letting them take it from there. I defended the foster-slash-adoption system because I myself am an adoptive parent. But I also value family, so I have reached out to my cousin who, contrary to belief, does make an income, and not necessarily a bad one. Actually, only $3,000 less than what my husband makes, depending on tips. She just gets assistance because of having five kids. She said that if she needs to take in a blood relative and get guardianship, she will do so, and that she knows the resources to help her care for my child. She recognizes this as sudden and a lot to ask, but she that she feels it's her duty to put in her best effort on my behalf. She said she cannot promise anything beyond a bare-bones life, or that she won't struggle greatly in the beginning and question her decision occasionally, but that she'll do her best if the thought of my daughter being with her stepdad upsets me that much. I don't think it's fair for me to stay with my husband after denying him this, and I know he resents me for this. He claims that our state favors biological relatives, and that he'll fight regardless. I'm okay with that, but not okay with his assumption that my cousin would melt down and give my daughter up for adoption when that is not who she is. I'm no longer asking for judgment, but hope that my intention to give my daughter to a blood relative instead of a foster system would give some of you peace, as it gives to me. Again, our state strongly favors biological relatives so hopefully my daughter will in a stable situation before I die.